Why are you here watching this video? Why do you want to become an airframe and power plant mechanic? Is it the money, the travel, the prestige? Do you just like being around aircraft? At the end of the day, no one can answer that question but you. Today, we'll be going over just how important your why is. I've talked about it in pretty much every other video on this channel. The industry is constantly in flux. You always have to be prepared for the famine that comes after the feast. In order to weather the downturns, you really need to be reminded of why you pursued it in the first place. If you're going to go after aviation for the money, you're on the wrong path. Yes, you can make upwards of $60 an hour within a few years in some parts of the industry, but in those same aspects, you can experience extreme layoffs. Some friends of mine have told stories about being out on the flight line and wondering where everyone went, only to find out that nearly half the staff had been suddenly let go with no warning. Some of them even called my friends and asked them to box up their stuff and bring it to them when they got off work because they weren't allowed back on site. I don't want to discourage anyone by saying these things. In fact, I'm trying to do the opposite. I want to help you to find that drive. For me, it was just my love of all things aviation. It started with going to air shows as a kid, taking apart and reassembling anything I could, and culminated in an introduction to flight course when I was 16 years old. I decided right then that I would do anything to be in the air. I wanted nothing more than to be somewhere that let me watch airplanes or helicopters come and go. I went the military route after getting fed up with civilian life. And six years later, I got fed up with the military life, but I still love everything to do with aircraft. So I did the most hilarious thing I can think of, and I took a contract job doing the exact same thing I was doing for the military, but as a civilian. And I'll tell you what, if I didn't have such a strongly rooted why, a drive to spread the love of aviation, and the attitude that no matter how much I knew, I really knew nothing, then I would have walked away before I even finished my licenses. Aviation, especially aviation maintenance, is full of people who've lost their why. People who hate their job, but won't leave because they've been there so long that starting over would be too difficult. Aviation's full of people who've lost touch with their coworkers. It's full of micromanagers and people who just want to see others drag down with them. Build up your why. You need it. This industry doesn't need more people who are driven by what? They don't need more people driven by the dollar sign. We need more people driven by a strong why. People with a desire to be in aviation. You will be tested, not just on your knowledge, but on your resolve. You will have your patience tested. Your physical and mental strength will be tested. Everything you think you want will at one point or another seem impossible. That why you're looking for isn't a specific thing. It's not a thought. It's not a goal. It's a feeling. How do you feel about aviation? How do you feel when you're working with your hands? How do you feel knowing that you are a part of the successful flight of an aircraft? Do you feel good? Does the thought of sharing that feeling resonate with you? If that feeling was put up against a cranky, better workplace, would you be able to lean on that feeling? or would it fall apart? Press pause here, get a pen and paper, and write down your why. Put it on your wall, your desktop, your bathroom door, wherever you'll see it when you need a reminder. Then come back here, press play, and comment below. What shapes your dream? Let me know. I'll tell you again what shapes my dream now. This channel shapes my dream. The things I talk about here, the concepts, the aircraft, the twinkle in the eyes of the passionate new people with that new skill that just clicks. That's my why. My why is sharing my knowledge and my ability with those of you who have questions. That pushes me through when things are hard. When I just wanna walk away after a difficult 12 hour day, knowing that things like this video are here for you on your journey keeps me going. I love to see the comments here. I love to read the emails, to know that you have come here for entertainment, for help, for knowledge. Drop a comment. Shoot me an email, ask your questions. If you're struggling to find that why, please reach out and give the video to my left a click. Maybe it'll help solidify your why, or at least help you learn more about the industry. Thanks for coming. See you later, guys. GoPro, stop recording.